Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. This is going to be a lesson in Lebanese Arabic dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic learners. Before I begin, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel if you find my lessons useful. Also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Globetrot with Arabic because I try to upload lessons there as well, almost on a daily basis and sometimes I go there and I upload vocabulary and sentences we do in our YouTube lessons so make sure you guys follow me there too. Today's lesson is going to be about a topic the whole world is preoccupied with. What is it? The coronavirus. I was a bit hesitant whether I should be doing this lesson or not because I thought why should I remind my students of a situation maybe they want to forget about at least temporarily when they do my lessons or when they follow my videos. But then I thought why not change a situation into a positive one and maybe learn things that we can use and sentences and vocabulary we we can use long after this virus disappears and at the end of the day our health is important so if we learn how to express how we feel our health our physical condition this is something of course useful whether it's about the coronavirus or anything else before we begin i want to tell you my personal opinion about this topic and what i really think about it I think the idea is not to panic. Actually, it's easy for me to say don't panic or don't get scared because this is something not easy to avoid, including myself. Even people who don't panic or don't get scared naturally panic when they keep hearing negative, negative, negative news all the time on the media. And I think we shouldn't let fear take over our uh, thoughts, emotions and feelings because if we get scared we can't function as human beings, we can't love, we can't receive love, we can't care, we can't receive care from the people we love, from the community, from the society and I think this is a great opportunity for us to stop and to think what are the things that really matter in life and is this something that stops me from giving the best I can to this world. I'm not saying, okay, let's not be realistic or let's not be considerate of other people's health and take care of each other. Of course not. But what I'm saying is that maybe there is something bigger than this or maybe there is something beyond our understanding when it comes to this. But let's not forget to mainly act as humans and as good humans and try our best to just put our love into this world and receive it back. I am going to turn my screen and show you my camera and we will discuss some of the terminologies in relation to health, symptoms and all of that. Let's begin. Okay guys, let's begin. I will start by talking about a few words that are commonly used when we talk about the coronavirus in Arabic. Let's begin. The first word is Al-Hajr al sahhi Al-Hajr Il sahhi it's written, but we pronounce it is sahhi because the letter saad here is a sun letter. So when I write it with Latin letters, instead of writing il sahhi, I would write is sahhi. Al hajr al sahhi means quarantine. Al hajr al sahhi. Here I'm using it with the two l's. Al hajr is sahhi. But of course I can say hajr sahhi. In that case, it becomes indefinite and it means quarantine. الحجر الصحي the quarantine حجر صحي quarantine or a quarantine the next word is كمامة 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 is the face mask that people are using to cover their nose or their mouth or the mask you use when people go for example to the hospital this one is a mask but we don't usually use كمامة to refer to the normal masks that we use that one is usually in standard Arabic that's قناع is the mask you use for Halloween or any other opportunity but when it comes to the to the mask in relation to health we use kimmeme and in Lebanese Arabic we don't use the word qina even for mask we tend to use the French word which is mask so mask is the regular mask that you use and kimmeme is the health mask that you use kimmeme the next one is harara harara and harara literally means heat but depending on the context you use this word in this case of course it doesn't mean heat it means temperature your temperature whether it's high or low so that's harara so for example if i have high fever i can say عندي harara i have 
literally I'm saying I have fever. عندي حرارة, which means I have a high fever. The next word is سعلي. سعلي. And سعلي is a cough. So if I have a cough, which I do by the way, I say عندي سعلي. عندي سعلي. The next one is غسيل الإيدين. غسيل الإيدين. غسيل means washing. إيدين means hands. الإيدين means the hands. So when you say غسيل الإيدين means literally washing of the hands, which means hand wash. غسيل الإيدين. Hand wash. Let's repeat. Quarantine is الحجر الصحي. كمامة is face mask. حرارة means Temperature or high fever. سعلي means a cough. غسيل الإيدين means hand wash. I will start by asking a few questions and reading a few sentences because these are the ones that we will use throughout the lesson. The first question is كيف بتعرفوا الفرق بين الإنفلونزا العادي وفيروس الكورونا? Okay, you notice I read it fast, but now I'm going to try to read it slower. كيف بتعرفوا الفرق بين فيروس الانفلونزا العادي وفيروس الكورونا كيف بتعرفوا كيف بتعرفوا بتعرفوا is you know in the plural this o in the end makes it plural you plural how do you know كيف بتعرفوا how do you know الفرق فرق means difference الفرق means the difference and we will pronounce it with a liaison here so كيف بتعرفوا الفرق كيف بتعرفوا الفرق how do you know the difference بين فيروس الانفلونزا العادي بين between فيروس means virus فيروس الانفلونزا you know that it's the virus of influenza this الانفلونزا means of the influenza فيروس الانفلونزا العادي العادي again العادي the normal the regular I'm saying here the normal or regular influenza basically the common the common flu okay so كيف بتعرفوا الفرق how do you know the difference بين between sometimes I can pronounce this بين as بين بين up to you you can pronounce it either بين or بين كيف بتعرفوا الفرق بين فيروس الانفلونزا العادي the, the regular, the normal, the common virus of the influenza و فيروس الكورونا و means and و I am exaggerating here of course I have to say العادي و فيروس و فيروس الكورونا I kind of pronounce it fast so let's pronounce it one more time كيف تعرفوا الفرق بين فيروس الانفلونزا العادي و فيروس الكورونا so how do you know the difference between the regular, the normal flu, and the coronavirus. Before I continue, let's also remind each other that this is not a lesson to rely on, or this is not a lesson that gives health advice. No, it's a language lesson. So we are taking advantage of a situation, of a, of a health situation, and we're learning words and expressions and sentences. Uh, related to health and this information is not from from me I was inspired by the um, World Health Organization so let's say this sentence in Arabic صدرت هيد المعلومات عن منظمة الصحة العالمية let me repeat slower صدرت هيد المعلومات عن منظمة الصحة العالمية صدرت صدرت هيد المعلومات صدرت means was released in the feminine form صدرت هيد المعلومات معلومات means information and in Arabic we say informations معلومات this it by the way in the end makes it a plural word صدرت هيد المعلومات هيد means this information and by the way you notice I'm using هيد in the feminine form why? Because when we have a plural word, in this case معلومات, that is non-human, we use with it هيدي in the feminine word. But when it comes to spoken Arabic, by the way, I can also use the plural form هيدول. 
but I am using in this case Heidi. I have the option of using Heidi or Heidol, the feminine or the plural. So basically, we treat a plural word that is non-human as if it's a singular object and we use feminine adjectives with it and feminine pronouns and in this case I used the, the feminine demonstrative Heidi okay and here I also used Sadarit I used the verb in the feminine form literally I'm saying she was released basically which means they were released in this context so Sadarit Heidi al these information were released basically okay sadarit was released Heidi, this المعلومات, the informations literally that's what you're saying so sadarit Heidi المعلومات عن whenever i use sadarit in arabic i have to use with it عن literally literally it means about but in this context of course it doesn't mean about it means from they were released from by or from صدرت عن released by or released from I would rather translate it as released by so صدرت هيد المعلومات عن منظمت oh it's not منظمت sorry that's a spelling mistake منظمت الصحة العالمية منظمة is an organization it has a temarbuta when the word is pronounced alone we don't say munazamit we have to say munazame but because it's followed by a noun and there is this meaning of the organization of so there is this hidden of here then we have to pronounce this temarbuta so whenever you have a noun plus noun in arabic always pronounce this temarbuta so munazame organization but munazamit the health organization منظمه الصحه العالميه عالميه means global or worldly but in this case it means the world health organization so you can memorize this as it is منظمه الصحه العالميه means world health organization صدرت هيدي المعلومات عن منظمة الصحة العالمية. These information were released by the World Health Organization. The next sentence is: خلينا نحكي عن أعراض الكورونا وأعراض الإنفلونزا العادة. Let me say it slowly. خلينا نحكي عن أعراض الكورونا. وأعراض الإنفلونزا العادة خلينا means let's let us خلينا خلينا نحكي let us talk let's talk خلينا نحكي عن about أعراض أعراض means symptoms أعراض and in the, sing in the singular form it's عارض خلينا نحكي عن أعراض الكورونا Let's talk about the symptoms of corona and عارض is in the singular form خلينا نحكي عن أعراض الكورونا وأعراض الإنفلونزا العادة Now you know that this one means the symptoms of the normal or common influenza خلينا نحكي عن أعراض الكورونا وأعراض الإنفلونزا العادة Let's talk about the symptoms of the corona and the symptoms of the common influenza. Let's start with the headaches. So I'm going to say, أول شيء بالنسبة لوجع الرأس. أول شيء. First of all, أول شيء بالنسبة لوجع الرأس. Now, أول شيء can also be um, said in a different way. أول شيء first thing that's what it literally means first thing but I can also say أولاً أولاً and أولاً means firstly أولاً which also means of course first of all so when I say أولاً it means first of all أولاً بالنسبة لوجع الرأس بالنسبة ل 
بالنسبة له. You see, I wrote it بالنسبة له. It's a phonetic representation. But here in Arabic, you notice it's written بالنسبة له. But we pronounce it بالنسبة له because the noon here is a sun letter. So بالنسبة له. With regards to. In another context, it also can mean according to. In this context, it means with regards to or about. About وجع الرأس. means about the headache okay so what does headache literally mean in arabic we are saying waja pain الرأس, written in arabic as الرأس, pain of the head which means headache so وجع الرأس, the headache and if i want to say i have a headache i say عندي وجع راس وجع راس without the ill in that case عندي وجع راس I have a headache that's why because that one is indefinite in this case it's definite وجع راس بالنسبة لوجع الراس with regards to the headache so let's see with regards to the headache what are the differences We will see these two sentences a lot in this, in this lesson. So let me say what is it. الشخص يلي بيكون معه كورونا الشخص, the person, الشخص, you have here also the transliteration. الشخص يلي, who or which, بيكون معه كورونا the person who would have so when i say bikun ma'u it means would have the person who has or the person who would have corona الشخص يلي بيكون ma'u corona you notice here i didn't say عنده corona i said ma'u corona because whenever we're talking about someone having a certain disease not just a symptom we usually say ma'u literally you're saying with him but we mean he has so in this case i said ma'u Why I didn't say ma'a with her, for example, because we're talking about the word shakhs, the person who has. So even if it's a woman or a man, it doesn't matter. Because I'm using the word shakhs, which is a masculine word, I have to use ma'o, he has, because the word shakhs is a masculine word. So the person who has Uh, the corona, shakhs yalle bikun ma'o corona, the person who would have corona. And on the other hand, here we have شخص يلي بيكون معه influenza The person who has influenza or who would have influenza الشخص يلي بيكون معه influenza There is something I would tell you, I would like to tell you about with regards to the word that I'm using here يلي I'm using the full word, I'm saying يلي But I can of course abbreviate it and say لي لي الشخص لي And in that case, I wouldn't say le, no, I would say li. الشخص اللي بيكون معه influenza. Or الشخص اللي بيكون معه corona. Or I can say الشخص يلي بيكون معه corona. أو الشخص يلي بيكون معه influenza. So, let's see the differences. So, أول شيء بالنسبة لوجع الرأس, first of all, with regards to the headache. الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا or الشخص اللي بيكون معه إنفلونزا What are the symptoms? شو هن العوارض؟ شو هن العوارض؟ عوارض as we said is symptoms um, We can also say عوارض or أعراض عوارض or أعراض I think in spoken Arabic we use عوارض more more than أعراض عوارض So وجع راس كتير قوي ومستمر Let's repeat وجع راس كتير قوي ومستمر وجع راس We know that it's a headache كتير قوي كتير قوي Very strong قوي means strong كتير قوي means very strong ومستمر مستمر means consistent ومستمر and consistent وجع راس كتير قوي ومستمر uh, strong and consistent headache you notice here I put the noun before the adjectives in English you say 
a strong and consistent headache. In Arabic, we say a headache, very strong and consistent. So we always put our adjective after our nouns. وجعراس كتير أو ومستمر. On the other hand, الشخص يلي بيكون معه إنفلونزا وجعراس خفيف or بسيط. وجعراس خفيف. خفيف literally means light. Of course, in the in this context, it means uh, not strong. The opposite of strong. A light headache or بسيط. بسيط also can mean simple. But here, I don't mean a simple headache. No, we mean also a light headache, like not very strong. وجع راس خفيف أو بسيط. So if I want to create a full sentence using this phrase here and this phrase here, or this phrase here and this phrase here, how can I say it? I can say الشخص يلي بيكون معه كورونا بيكون عنده he would have بيكون بيكون عنده he would have, or let me write it with Latin letters, بيكون عنده بيكون عنده وجع راس. He would have a headache. الشخص يلي بيكون معه كورونا بيكون عنده وجع راس كتير قوي ومستمر. Let's say it with the influenza. الشخص اللي بيكون معه إنفلونزا we can repeat the same. بيكون عنده وجع راس خفيف or بسيط. You see the difference between the two? We are saying وجع راس خفيف, light headache, and وجع راس كتير قوي, a very strong headache. But it's nice also if we use here بيكون عنده, he would have or they would have. وجع راس كتير قوي. بيكون عنده وجع راس خفيف. So that's أول شيء or أولا. Let's go to the second symptom. I can say tene she, tene she. Tene means second, and she means thing, second thing, which means second. Tene she, or I can also say tenian. It's literally, it's like you're saying secondly, but we don't say that in, in English. So you can either say tene she or tenian. In spoken Arabic, we have a tendency to use Tene she or tele she or awal she more than tenian or awalan. I think with awalan and tenian it's okay. We use awalan and tenian, but the bigger the numbers become, I think we start using this format, which is here, tene she or tele she. So tene she or tenian. بالنسبة للحرارة بالنسبة للحرارة with regards to the what's حرارة you already know حرارة means temperature or fever. In this context, it means fever, high fever. بالنسبة للحرارة, with regards to the fever. So, how are we going to say it? الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا, we can say here, بيكون عنده, بيكون عنده حرارة كتير عالية, or حرارة كتير قوية. عالية means high, and it's a feminine adjective. Why is it a feminine, feminine adjective? Because the word harara here is a feminine word. So we have to use a feminine adjective. Aliye. Harara aliye. So, a shakhs li bikun ma'u corona bikun indo harara ktir aliye. They will have very high fever. Or awiyye, strong. We can say in Arabic, harara awiyye, strong fever, which means high fever. Now, الشخص اللي بيكون معه إنفلونزا بيكون عنده حرارة عالية شوي. شوي means a little bit. عالية, as we said, means high. And حرارة عالية شوي. A little bit of high fever. So, بيكون عنده, they would have حرارة عالية, high fever, a bit, a bit of high fever. Okay? So, let's repeat from here. We can start from here and then come here and then create one full sentence with this. So, I'm going to say تاني شي or تانيان بالنسبة للحرارة الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا بيكون عنده حرارة كتير عالية أو حرارة قوية 
Now I will say the same for this one. تاني شيء or تانياً بالنسبة للحرارة الشخص اللي بيكون معه إنفلونزا بيكون عنده حرارة عالية شوي بيكون عنده حرارة عالية شوي Let's continue We will go to the third symptom here So we said أول شيء first تاني شيء second Now we will say تالت شيء شيء literally you're saying third thing which means thirdly basically or third okay third شيء we can also say of course تالتان literally like you're saying thirdly but you mean third تالتان or شيء I prefer to use شيء starting the third number I, I personally I prefer to use شيء you can use either one of them شيء بالنسبة لأعراض الرشح You see again I'm using أعراض As I said I can use عوارض Okay So تالت شي بالنسبة لأعوارض الرشح رشح means the flu or the cold But when I say the word رشح I immediately have this impression That the person has a runny nose They are sneezing They have congestion Okay so that's رشح So تالت شي بالنسبة لعوارض الرشح تالت شي بالنسبة لعوارض الرشح Third um, with regards to the um, symptoms of uh, congestion or uh, stuffy nose or flu Let's see what they are الشخص يلي بيكون معه كورونا As we said here الشخص يلي بيكون معه كورونا I will use here نخيره ما بيكونوا مسكرين you can, you can say it here with Latin letters منخير ما بيكونوا مسكرين منخير means nose, nose but you know what we are actually saying noses you can say منخور which is in the singular form منخير we don't have two noses or three noses but we used plural form in Arabic so that's منخير منخير is his nose Okay, نخيره his nose ما بيكونوا again I'm using they wouldn't be I'm using they wouldn't be why because I used the plural form of نخير it's a plural noun that's why I have to use a plural verb and also here مسكرين a plural participle so نخيره ما بيكونوا they wouldn't be مسكرين مسكرين can be can mean closed or in this context it means blocked it depends on the context it can mean blocked or closed so that's the plural form msakreen if it's singular it should be msakkar msakkar okay so nakhiru ma bikunu msakreen his nose wouldn't be blocked but the way i'm saying it in arabic is his noses maybe we mean nostrils his noses ma bikunu they wouldn't be msakreen okay so الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا منخيره ما بيكونوا مسكرين the person who would have corona his i repeat it and i say his noses or his nostrils or his nose منخيره ما بيكونوا مسكرين they wouldn't be closed his nose wouldn't be blocked basically أما بالنسبة للشخص as for the person أما بالنسبة للشخص يلي بيكون معه إنفلونزا نخيره بيكونوا مسكرين You know what? For these two sentences I'm gonna add the word عادة usually Why? Because we don't know if these symptoms are 100% So let's use عادة to say usually Okay? So نخيره بيكونوا مسكرين عادة here we said بيكونوا مسكرين Here we said ما بيكونوا مسكرين Which means here the nose usually would be blocked But here the nose wouldn't be blocked Let's repeat these two الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا منخيره ما بيكونوا مسكرين عادة أما بالنسبة للشخص As for It's like you're saying as for with regards to Okay أما بالنسبة للشخص يلي بيكون معه إنفلونزا نخيره بيكونوا مسكرين عادة أوكي؟ okay? 
Let's continue and go to the next symptom. الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا ما بيكون عنده رشح. We mentioned that رشح means a flu or a cold basically or a blocked nose or congestion or a stuffy nose. So ما بيكون عنده رشح. He wouldn't have. بيكون عنده is he would have. ما بيكون عنده is he wouldn't have. Again, we are using ما بيكون عنده because we're we're referring to شخص here. ما بيكون عنده رشح. He wouldn't have um, the cold or a stuffy nose or a blocked nose or all of this, like all the symptoms that uh, indicate a cold. Here, بيكون عنده رشح. He would have a runny nose or a congested, a cor- sorry, congested nose. Okay, so a person who is with Corona does not have a cold. But for a person who is with influenza, influenza, sorry, they would have a They would have a cold, which means in this case a runny nose or a stuffed nose. Okay, here we have. عطس نادر كتير عطس means uh, sneezing عطس sneezing نادر rare كتير very so نادر كتير very rare in Arabic I'm saying rare very I can say كتير نادر but it's not very common to say that it's more common to say نادر كتير rare very which means very rare rare sneezing basically عطس نادر كتير rare sneezing عطس مستمر عطس مستمر مستمر means consistent we can say بيكون عنده he would have عطس نادر كتير بيكون عنده عطس مستمر he would have consistent sneezing let's move to the next one سعلة ناشفة سعلة is a cough Neshfe is a feminine adjective because the word sa'li is feminine. Neshif is the masculine form without the e here. And neshif means dry. Neshfe is the feminine form of, of dry. Sa'li neshfe, a dry cough. I can of course say, bikun ando, he would have, bikun ando, sa'li neshfe. Now here, this one is sa'li ma balgam. Balgam means Flim, uh, and when you say sa'li ma balgham, a cough with a phlegm, literally that's what you're saying, which means a chesty cough. Okay, sa'li ma balgham, a chesty cough, but it literally translates as a cough with phlegm. So we can say, if we want to repeat uh, the whole, the whole sentence, we can say. الشخص يلي بيكون معه كورونا بيكون عنده he would have سعلة ناشفة أما بالنسبة للشخص يلي بيكون معه إنفلونزا بيكون عنده سعلة مع بلغم he would have a cough with phlegm which means a chesty cough finally let's say ما بيكون في التهاب بالزعيم ما بيكون في there wouldn't be ما بيكون في of course here I used it in a different way I said there wouldn't be I could have said ما بيكون عنده he wouldn't have ما بيكون عنده but I tried to change a bit ما بيكون في ما بيكون في التهاب بزلعيم التهاب means infection بزلعيم I'm pronouncing it as bizla'im, but you see in Arabic it's written as bilzla'im, but we pronounce it as bizla'im because there's a sun letter here. So bizla'im. Ma bikun fi iltihab bizla'im. There wouldn't be an infection bilzla'im or bizla'im pronounced. In the zla'im means throat or tonsils, okay? ما بيكون في التهاب بزلعيم there wouldn't be a, a sore throat or a tonsils infection عادة usually عادة بيكون في there would be بيكون في التهاب بالزلعيم pronounced as بزلعيم عادة بيكون في التهاب بزلعيم usually there would be um, an infection in the throat so 
الشخص اللي بيكون معه انفلونزا عادة بيكون عنده in that case I would say if I want to say the complete sentence I wouldn't say usually there would be because I'm saying the person who would have usually there would be it doesn't make sense even in English so I would say عادة بيكون عنده usually he would have التهاب بزلعيم infection in the throat so this was the last one in the uh, in the symptoms related to to cold عوارض العلاقة بالرشح and we will continue and talk about um, shivering رابع شي رابع شي literally you're saying fourth thing fourth thing رابع شي you can also say رابعا but as I said I prefer personally to use رابعا رابع شي or رابعا بالنسبة للرجفين you see in Arabic I wrote it للرجفين but we're pronouncing it للرجفين because the را here is a sun letter so بالنسبة للرجفين so we're not pronouncing the second ل بالنسبة للرجفين with regards to shivering we will say الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا again بيكون عنده he would have رجفة قوية رجفة is a shivering literally you're saying a shivering or a quivering I think you say in English as well رجفة قوية a strong shivering رجفة بسيطة a light or a mild shivering بسيطة رجفة بسيطة بسيطة also can mean simple in another context but not in this context رجفة قوية a strong shivering رجفة بسيطة a mild shivering so let's put it in a full sentence الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا بيكون عنده he would have رجفة قوية a strong shivering or something like that الشخص اللي بيكون معه انفلونزا بيكون عنده رجفة بسيطة so you notice again here when I'm mentioning the actual name of the, I don't even know if I can call it a disease but the actual situation of the person I'm saying معه but the symptoms I'm saying عنده and finally وأخيرا you see أخيرا وأخيرا and I pronounce it in Lebanese Arabic instead of saying وأخيرا I prefer to say وأخيرا وأخيرا uh, the w is pronounced fast وأخيرا بالنسبة للتعب وأخيرا بالنسبة للتعب again here I am pronouncing it للتعب but in Arabic it's written للتعب again because the ta is a sun letter we don't pronounce the l the second l here وأخيرا بالنسبة للتعب للتعب سوري and finally with regards to the fatigue or tiredness تعب means fatigue or tiredness in this context because we're talking about symptoms and illnesses or sickness or diseases you use uh, the meaning would be basically fatigue more than tiredness وأخيرا بالنسبة للتعب الشخص اللي بيكون معه كورونا I wrote here التعب بيكون قوي وأساسي التعب بيكون قوي وأساسي the tiredness or the fatigue بيكون would be قوي strong وأساسي and like main essential or it is the main symptom basically وأساسي التعب بيكون قوي وأساسي the fatigue would be strong and major that's what it means major but look, I said التعب بيكون قوي وأساسي so I'm just describing the symptom but I can't say الشخص يلي بيكون معه كورونا التعب بيكون قوي وأساسي no in this case I can say again بيكون عنده he would have and I get rid of the of the ال the he would have fatigue I don't say he would have the fatigue بيكون عنده تعب and I would remove the بيكون because I put the بيكون عنده before بيكون عنده تعب قوي وأساسي أما بالنسبة للشخص يلي بيكون معه إنفلونزا بيكون عنده تعب again I can say that خفيف إلى حد ما when I don't use the full sentence I can of course say التعب بيكون the fatigue would be خفيف light or mild خفيف إلى حد ما إلى حد ما إلى حد ما means to a certain extent إلى حد ما memorize it it means to a certain extent إلى حد ما التعب بيكون خفيف the fatigue would be light 
إلى حد ما to a certain extent الشخص يلي بيكون معه إنفلونزا I'm not gonna say التعب بيكون خفيف no in that case as I said I would say بيكون عنده تعب خفيف إلى حد ما بيكون عنده بيكون عنده تعب خفيف إلى حد ما they would have لا a light a light or a mild fatigue to a certain extent I think for today it's enough because I think it's quite a long lesson and you have so many things to to learn and internalize and memorize so I think it's better if I stop here and we can continue the next time and we can talk about what are the things that we can do and how can we help ourselves and how can we help our community okay but for today i think that should be more 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 than enough i hope you enjoyed it and i will turn my camera now to say bye to you so that's it for today i hope you found it useful and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you tomorrow with a new lesson bye